In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the GWT Eclipse plugin version 3. So once you have Eclipse open, go to the help menu, install new software. Nope, don't do that. Go to the Eclipse Marketplace. The, Equip the Eclipse Marketplace, once it loads up, we're going to search for GWT or find GWT. Hit enter, and we'll come up with the GWT Eclipse plugin 3.0.0. Sometimes there's a sponsored here, but this is what we want. So, by the way, if you are here, I recommend installing the or starring, starring the application. Maybe you could call that like a stargazer, like GitHub. But this provides ammunition for the contributors to execute on or helps provide feedback to them that this is important. Let's let's do more contributions. Okay, so let's go ahead and install it by clicking on install. It shows us the default packages. So for GWT Eclipse plugin, that's required. 7.0, I recommend just installing all the SDKs unless you only plan on using 2.8. But we're going to also cover JavaScript debugging with source mapping in the courses or curriculum. So I I'd recommend installing that as well. So let's go ahead and click confirm. Once we get that, the license agreement, I always just say I accept because you can't if you don't. And we're going to click OK and it reboots. Once we're ready, we're going to reboot. Eclipse starts by loading back up. All right, Eclipse has loaded back up. So let's do a brief tour of the features that were installed in Eclipse. So first we have the menu, so you can create a new Eclipse project, or you can compile it. That's assuming that you already have a project and you have that selected. So let's go Preferences, Eclipse Preferences, and we'll type in GWT to narrow it down a little bit faster. And so you can do that, select GWT, and then cancel, and then go, oh, there's GWT. So we have GWT, and then we have errors. So the next version, there's some updates. You'll find out that the GWT client bundle is missing required at source annotation. This will be turned off by default in the next version. The GWT settings look to 2.70 selected. We want 2.8. We're going to work with 2.8 in this curriculum, but you can use 2.7 as well. So we'll go ahead and select OK. So let's go to the next section. We're going to look at the de debug configurations. So in the debug configurations, we have three launchers that we're going to show off in the next talks and the future talks. That's the GWT compiler, the GWT development mode, we can't quite see it, the code server, and dev mode. And the differences and how we can use all three of these to debug our GWT applications. All right, that concludes this video for today. In the future talks, we're going to cover this more in depth, so stay tuned.